And here's the start of the grand final. And the kickoff, not making the 10 yards, back to centre field for the first scrum of the game. It's loose head to eastern suburbs. Going across, we see number four there, Peter Crittle. And number five, Ian Denovan, the two eastern suburbs second row. Denovan coming into this match with a, a little doubt about him, a shadow on his form. He has an injury and he may not last the game. Crittle won the toss and is running, running with the wind behind him running behind. And all interstate stations are with us now, by the way, Cyril, to this telecast from the Sydney Sports Ground of Eastern Suburbs and University, the Sydney University and the Rugby Union Grand Final. Over here is 14 Cox. He's the champion goal kicker for Eastern Suburbs. They're going to be a big factor in this game. But it's a line out now about 12 yards inside the Eastern Suburbs half. Play has been in progress for about one minute. Peter Griddle in winning the toss, I think he expects the horizon to cloud and uh, it should obscure the sun, the sun late in the second half. Great battle in the forwards, two evenly, evenly matched packs uh, and somewhat similar in their approach to the game too. I uh, like uh, plenty of drive and we'll, this could be uh, a measuring stick, this first scrum, right on the ground. And there's a penalty going to University, there was something against the hooker, the hooker for Eastern Suburbs Tyler seemed to collapse in that scrum and here we see that Gary Smoker the university fullback is being called up and what's Smoker going to do he may take an attempt to at drop penalty he's a brilliant drop kick this kick about uh, two yards outside the 10 yard line so it's a 47 yard kick kicking with the slight nor'easter behind him and that's not a good one off the boot badly so it's no score fullback Haig touching down for you Eastern Suburbs, the 25 dropout. Dropout to be taken by Handley, the Eastern Suburbs 5-8. McLean, big fellow, just now if they can win this ruck, uh, University could be dangerous to the far side, to Winchester. There's a chance here with Smoker in, the wingers outside to Taylor. Taylor on the far side, down he goes towards the line and forced into touch, just five yards out. University won the final last week with brilliant attacking football, putting Gordon out of the competition, scoring two tries in the last three minutes. Now, will they repeat this today? Because that's the one way they may do it against this dogged and solid Eastern Suburbs team. And Haig from behind his own line, not finding touch. A drop at goal surely here from Smoker. Now, let's look at this one. It's going to be close. It's a brilliant kick. It's there. Goal to Gary Smoker, Sydney University in front by three points to nil. It was a mistake by the young Eastern Suburbs fullback Haig not finding touch and Smoker not making any mistake at all with that one. It's Sydney University three, Eastern Suburbs nil. And look at the students, they like that. Great boost for them. Johnson, the long haired number eight forward for University. Rosenblum. From inside his 25, and in touch on the 10 yard line. There's an aspect of play that might trouble Hay, the Eastern Suburbs full back. He's got to keep that ball away from Smoker, and if he kicks it, it's better to lose a yard or two than give Smoker a chance. Anywhere from 30 or 40, 45 yards out, Smoker will have a drop at a field goal. Get all along the Eastern Suburbs back line. The high kick they're pouring through on this down to the 25. Under the ball is Roxborough and Johnson. Out here to Rosenblum once again. And there's the master kicker. Yes, he's found touch. Rosenblum, the 5'8", number 10 for Sydney University. The real artist with the boot. Taking play over halfway into Eastern Suburbs territory. University like this question of position. Keep their opponents in a defensive position and they get those short kicks dropped to them to smoke around that like Hayden did a few minutes ago. And something going on there at the back of the line out between Pittle and the University man McLean. And here the penalty's going to University. Now, I wouldn't be surprised. No, it's Eastern Suburbs penalty, so there was a bit of scuffling going on there. And Rosenblum not quite sure what's happening. Now, who gets the penalty? Yes, it's University. University's penalty. And Rosenblum is what? He's going to call Foreman up? No, he's going to kick for touch. And a glorious kick by Rosenblum. He's found touch. Now it's right over the dead ball line. 
Well, he really got onto that, but a, a, an unusual set of circumstances there, sir. Yes, he, referee, you uh, can confuse both teams then. His, his uh, uh, actions pointed towards uh, uh, a penalty to Eastern Suburbs, because it didn't turn out that way at all. And a penalty again going to Eastern Suburbs. A lot, of, a lot of blocking and, and uh, scragging going on there, but uh, it's a little, likely to be a little bit hectic for a while. Both sides trying to get command in the forward phases of play. Once again, a very poor kick by the fullback Haig, and Haig, this youngster, who's come into Eastern Suburbs in the semi finals. Well, that's uh, a, a bad mistake, first of all, to Smoker, and that wasn't a good kick. Handley along the back line, Miller's there beside him, but the Kicking tactic from the 5'8 position, and it's, yes, in touch. He's Richard Hadley kicking from the 5'8 position, trying to keep Smoker well back uh, in his normal fullback position. To Winchester. And that's kicked out here, and waiting back is Cox, number 14 on the wing. And Cox, who was a former fullback, just dropping that one. There's a late tackle penalty going on here, is there? Yes, it's going to be... Yes, a late tackle awarded inside the 25 now to Eastern Suburbs. And to kick for them, this man who's scored more than 200 points for Eastern Suburbs this year, setting an all-time record. What's his full point? 260. 260-odd points. Well, uh, he's the best kicker we've seen in the history of the game. His left foot kick, and Cox will take this shot on the 25. I think referee Kelly a little bit afraid that the forwards will run away with this game. They're, it's a bit hectic and the forwards are why it's opened up and each side trying to get command of this phase of play is likely to be a little bit rough and he's going to get it uh, flatten them out as soon as he possibly can with their objective more or less setting the game into, into a, uh, a groove that you can recognise. Cox on the left hand side and he's just outside the 25. The wind is blowing a gentle breeze from the southeast, and he's kicking right into this breeze short balanced run a very capable kick of this farm and those of you watching interstate you'll see as cox walks back the two dawson twins there they are six and eight and you can't tell anything between them it's chris number six and paul number eight and they'll be right in this game as it goes on in progress they're very good footballers in the eastern suburbs back row matter of fact the mother used to put tickets on them so she could re uh, recognize them herself they're as alike as possible to be and that's a typical cox kick it's right over the black spot and it's 3 all, Eastern Suburbs 3, Sydney University 3, and we've had, what, about uh, eight minutes of play. So Handley, a knock-on, so that should stop play. I was watching in that line at that time with the Eastern Suburbs throw in the movements of Peter Crittle, the Eastern Suburbs captain. You watch him. Uh, wearing number four, he's moving around all over that line out, and when University throws in, he comes right back to number eight. It could be a penalty, and what's going to happen? There may be a knock on by the halfback. Yes, I think that happened that time. It's not saying anything about the referee. The halfback knocked the ball back into the scrum. There's a tight head to University, but coming through was the breakaway, but recalled again by the referee. Decent battle of poundage here in these two packs. Eastern Suburbs very low, a little bit lower than University, but they're about evenly weighted. <laughs> There's something funny, they kick both the balls off the field. Hickman now, the Eastern Suburbs half. Tight head to Rosenblum, angling for the short side, and what's this going to be? Out on the full. Well, University playing the sideline, well, that might be the tactics they've succeeded with where, when they're on top in the forwards, but is it the right tactics today against Eastern Suburbs? Well, they've got the advantage of the wind, and I think they should should go for points. They've been they've won the first three loose rucks and won them decisively, and that's there's always an advantage from a loose ruck. They tend to go for this position for the short, sharp step of the line. Now Hadley finding touch, and there's a clash between forwards here, an all-in brawl down over the halfway line, about four or five fellows who went to it here, and number seven there's Holmes is having a, a whack that Dawson's going to, and Johnson, this breakaway forward, 
a nice left by Chris Dawson then, but uh, yes. the, ref the referee stopping play. This fellow like Johnson, he's quite a character, number eight for University. He seems to really upset the opposing forwards. Now called out Jim Roxburgh there. He's reading the Ten Commandments to them. Kind of thing, but uh, <laughs> it's a decent sort of a battle here. Competition's very keen, they're evenly matched, and Temple's flared up, and uh, it's one way of getting a little bit of ex excess energy out of your system, I think. A beautiful straight left there by one of the Dawson's, but don't ask me which one, I couldn't tell you. Right out midway between the half and 25, University Territory. Out becomes a scrum. Eastern suburbs, Handley, and this is a high one down to the 25, waiting underneath to the smoker. They're coming through on the smoker here, and a very hard one in the wind. The Eastern suburbs, dangerous if I can win this ball. And now it's a university clearing. And Smoker getting out of bother, finding touch just outside the 25. Three all, 15 minutes gone, and that's an indication of the effect of this sun. And there's a man flattened, and what's going to happen here? He's gone off. Looks like he's been sent off the field. Denovan, the second row forward for Eastern Suburbs, has been sent off the field. At number five for Eastern Suburbs, he's been sent off. And Eastern Suburbs now, the defending premiers, must play the remainder of this match with 14 men. Well, it's one of those things to lose a man sent off very early in the game, but uh, there's no doubt about the fact that the university player landed pretty heavily on the ground. It was hard to see what happened because the play ran. There was a quick throw in from the line-out. All we can say is the referee was right beside the play. Yes, he should have been able to see what happened. Had him a bit rattled, I think, early. These two packs, very fiery. Back here to Smoker and Foreman it is. Foreman with the ball now. That's the front row of Faye. And Faye caught by the University forwards. Nice heel, University, but ruined a bit slower. Now Cox coming through fast onto Smoker. And Smoker finding touch. Well, here's a chance certainly for Sydney University with East Court and Man Short that had to play right through the game of Man Short. University stepping up the tempo now could get a decisive lead in this first half. <coughs> Spittle back to Hickman, Handley. Still no ball going along the back line. That's down to the 25. And here's the hooker coming in. Eastern Suburbs pouring in for this ruck. There's Pittle out here to Dawson. That's Paul Dawson. Chris Dawson with him. Back to Smoker. In touch just outside the 25. Well, there's a, a, a serious attempt, it seems, for both sides, particularly Eastern Suburbs, to speed up the tempo of play. And this could make this a very good match. It throws, it throws Eastern Suburbs' formation completely out of gear, however. One of the Dawsons will have to go into the second row. And they'll play a 3-4-1 formation with Cray and Chris Dawson as breakaways. Coming through the middle comes Hooker down and Eastman. Here's Dawson breaking away. Back to his brother Chris. That was Paul Dawson first of all. The work on the forwards are very tough here. Last couple of rucks, there were two or three forwards on each side. Had no idea where the ball were, was, but they were really hoeing into the work just the same. All players on side. Foreman coming through fast onto Cox, and in touch it goes 10 yards inside the Eastern Suburbs half. Three all the score. Fullback joining in this movement along the back line. It goes. There's a fullback smoker. Great beautiful football. Great chance for a try. Taylor's outside of this. Taylor on the wing. Taylor going.